Hi, Pre-K friends, it's Mrs. Davis. I wanted to do a lesson with you today on drawing our shapes, but before we start, there are three things that I need you to get. After I tell you what those three things are, then I'm gonna ask you to stop or pause the video so that you have time to go get them, and then come back and we'll start the video and begin our lesson. Okay, are you ready? These are the three things that you are going to need. First, you're going to need a piece of white paper, like a piece of computer paper or printer paper is perfect. And you're gonna need a good working pencil with an eraser. And the last thing that you're gonna need is mom or dad to please come back with you so that we can have them help you fold the paper for our lesson today. All right, are you ready? All right, stop or pause the video and go get those three things, the piece of paper, the pencil, and mom or dad. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right, welcome back boys and girls. Thank you so much for going to get those things for our lesson today. Mom or dad, thank you so much for joining us. We just need you for a quick minute to help us fold the paper for our lesson today. So you should have a piece of white computer paper or white paper that we are going to fold in half the long way so it looks like a tall rectangle. And just fold it on the crease and smooth it down. And then we want to fold this into three um, equal parts. So we're going to start at the top and fold it just about to the middle and smooth it down. It will look like a square. And then bring the bottom up and smooth it down. You got it. And we're going to open it up. So mom or dad, thank you so much. Boys and girls, put that piece of paper to the side. And then we are going to go over the shapes that we are going to be practicing today. So I am gonna put a shape out and I want you to name the shape. So take a look at our first shape. Does everyone know what it is? You got it, it is a square. Let's look at what a square features are. Let's see what makes it a square. Does anybody remember what we call this part of it? You're right, it's the sides. Let's count how many sides it has. One, two, three, four. What do you notice about all four of those sides? Did you notice that they're all the same? You are right. All four sides are equal or the same. There's something else that makes it a square. Do you remember what we call this part? That's right, it's called the corners or the points. Let's see how many there are. There's one, two, three, four. So that's what makes it a square. Four equal sides and four corners. Kind of looks like a cracker or a box. Let's put that one aside. Our next shape is, does everyone know what it is? You are right, it is a circle. Now let's look and see what characteristics makes it a circle. Does it have sides like the square did? It does not. Does it have corners or points? It does not. It has something called, do you remember? Rounded edges, you are right. It looks kind of like a pizza or a cookie. Good job, boys and girls. Let's see our next shape. Does anybody know what shape that is? You are right, it is a rectangle. Now I noticed that it has something that one of the other shapes had. What do we call those again? You are right, they are the sides. Let's see how many sides it has. One, two, three, four. It has four sides just like our shape the square did but I'm noticing something about the sides on this shape. Do you notice it too? Did you notice that two of the sides are longer? You are correct. And two are shorter. A rectangle also has, that's right, points or corners. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So it has four points or corners and it has four sides, but two of the sides are long and two of the sides are short. Kind of looks like a long road or a railroad track, or I could even turn it this way and it might look like a tall building. So that is our rectangle. Let's look at our next shape. Ooh, does anybody remember which, what shape that is? You are right, it is a triangle. Tri means three. Let's see what it has three of. What were these called again? You are right, the sides. It has one, two, three sides. And it also has, you're right, the points or corners. One, two, three. It kind of looks like a mountain 
or the roof of a house. Okay, and that is our triangle. And our last shape, let's see if you know our last shape. Our last shape is, that's right, it's an oval. An oval has what kind of sides? You're right, they have rounded edges. No sides like the square or rectangle, no points or corners. They have rounded edges. It's kind of like a squish circle. It is an oval. It kind of looks like an egg or a jelly bean. Good job, boys and girls. So now I need you to get your paper that your mom or dad helped you to fold. And we're gonna hold it tall so that there's two boxes at the top, two in the middle, and two at the bottom. I would like you to take your good working pencil and I'd like you to write your name in the very first box right here, just like Mrs. Davis did. She wrote Mrs. Davis on her paper. And I am going to be picking a shape and asking you to draw it in one of the boxes. So the first shape we're going to draw is this one. Does everyone remember what it is? You got it, it's a circle. Let's practice making a circle right here in the box next to our name. Start at the top. Go around and back up to the top and make your circle. Good job, boys and girls. The next shape we're going to make is a, that's right, it's a square. Right below our name in this box, let's make our square. Remember, all the sides are the same. So I'm gonna put one at the top, one on the side, one on the bottom, and one on the other side and I made my square. All sides are the same. Let's pick another shape. Let's make the, that's right, the rectangle. You can decide, do you want it to go the long way or do you want it tall like a building? I'm gonna make mine long like a railroad track. So I'm gonna do a long line at the bottom, a long line at the top, and then I'm going to connect the sides with my short lines and I'm gonna make my rectangle. My next shape is going to be the, that's right, the triangle. Remember it has three sides and three points. I'm gonna think of it like a mountain today. I'm gonna to start at the top and I'm gonna do a diagonal line down, another diagonal line down, and then I'm going to close the bottom and I'm going to make my triangle. And then our last shape is the, that's right, the oval. Remember, it's like a squished up circle. It has no sides or points. It's gonna have rounded edges. So we wanna go around, so it has a rounded side, and then another rounded side, and I'm gonna attach it at the top. Here. And I made my oval. So now we have all five shapes, our circle, our square, our rectangle, our triangle, and our oval. And now, boys and girls, I'd like you to turn your paper over, and I'd like you to put your name in that top corner again. Mrs. Davis wrote her name, and now we are going to draw the shapes all by ourselves independently without looking at the shapes and without Mrs. Davis drawing them. You're going to go to the box right next to where you wrote your name, and I would like you to draw a circle. Please draw a circle. Good job, boys and girls. Now go down below where we wrote our name, right here in this box, and would you make a square? Please draw a square. Nicely done. Right next to that box, right here, would you make a rectangle. Please draw a rectangle. Well done. Now we're going to go down to this bottom box right here and would everyone make a triangle. Please make a triangle. Nice triangles everyone. And in the very last box I would like you to make an oval. Please draw an oval. Super job, everyone. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see the shapes that you drew on your paper. Please show them to mom or dad and maybe they'll take a picture and send it to me or one of your teachers. Please continue to practice your shapes at home. 
You can ask mom or dad to fold another piece of paper for you and they can tell you which shape to draw, either the circle, the square, the rectangle, the triangle, and the oval. You can also go outside on a nice sunny day if you have some chalk and it's okay with mom or dad. You could practice drawing your shapes outside on the sidewalk or on your driveway. Have fun and keep practicing. I'm super proud of you boys and girls. I'll see you again soon. Bye.